Hello friends! After the move to the farm, I've been spending a lot of time at my parents' house in my old room. The desk behind me works as a crafting station for me. I do a lot of things here. This desk has been the same for many many years. Um, and I really want to give it a makeover. I think it's time to update it to make it aesthetically a bit more pleasing for my eyes since I've been spending a lot of time here and I will continue spending time here. I want to create this sort of cottagecore, witchy, dark light academia style. I don't exactly know where it will go but the plan is to have the same kind of book page that I did to my tiny house and also to make this desk darker and the drawers as well. I didn't want to buy a lot of things for this so I had a budget of just like buying a few things and using everything I can that I already have. Let's start! Now the wall is done, but unfortunately I ran out of paper halfway through. Not halfway, but in the end I ran out of paper. It's the next day and I finished the wall behind me. It's now filled with these lovely book pages and the only problem was that I ran out of the books that I was using, so now the bottom is looking different and I might do something about that later. I don't really like how it looks. And now I will be covering up the table with the... Uh, what is it? Um, it's just, uh, like a contact paper, I think? I've seen people use this many times, uh, but it's this 
kind of paper that has a tape on it and you just roll it. I'm gonna give it a try as well. Right, so here we go. Next step of this project. I'm excited. <laughs> Voila! Now that part is done. That was way more difficult and time consuming than I was expecting. You can see some air bubbles, but not very well, so I think it's a win. Here I have gathered some things from the house that I want to be on my desk. Um, some of the stuff was already there and some of it will have a proper place now that I'm giving my desk a makeover. Here is a bunch of things that I'm thinking to put on the wall um, plus empty frames. I also have these beautiful um, plate things that I found from my grandmother's house. I think they are um, brought from some traveling maybe in the 70s or 80s. Um, but I think they're really pretty and they go really well with the aesthetic that I'm looking for. So we'll definitely be hanging at least some of those and maybe use them as a tray as well. Here I have framed some cards that I have. This, I believe, it's a, a label from a wine bottle. So I kind of want to frame that because this reminds me of dark academia um, aesthetic. So I hope I can find a frame for that.
It's the third day of this makeover and today I need to get everything done. I need to leave myself some time to edit this video. Today I will be hanging some of the paintings and frames and things. I will be uh, spray painting some of the parts of my desk and um, just putting everything together. So far I'm really liking how it's turning out. It's this kind of cozy vintage Scottish car vibe with a little bit of dark academia. I didn't buy a lot of things to remake my desk and I don't want to go out and buy everything new. I'll just gather them up while like searching from secondhand shops and whenever I come across with an item that I think will fit the aesthetic and will be useful for the desk and my working space in, in general. So I will be collecting things as I go and that's my style, that's what I usually do if I'm, if I'm making something. I gather the things over time and it's nice that way and I feel the uh, items have more value and more story behind them. Plus I can get them second hand so that's always a plus if I don't need to buy a lot of new things. Let's get started on the last day.
guys, I'm so happy how the desk turned out. It's just everything I wanted it to be. And I can continue decorating it. I can continue buying different artworks or get some dry plants to hang on the wall. I'm a one happy gal with a beautiful, beautiful workspace. This vintage cottage car atmosphere, aesthetic inspires me to do a lot more crafts and spend the time in this beautiful room. Also, I find joy when I get to use all these items and artwork and I've been collecting over the years. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this week's video and thanks for watching. Bye!